Hello everybody, my name is Faraz. Uh, I will start a series of lessons on various topics related to English language and this time we, we are doing IELTS and this is sixth class of IELTS uh, learning. I have already asked you people to go access PPT. You can access PPT from classroom.google.com and the code for the class is 2BB74RW. Uh, please access PPT and we can begin formally. Right. Uh, in our previous class, I asked you to write uh, an essay. Um, some of you have written essays. I will give my feedback um, to those who have sent me your PPTs, uh, your write-up. You can send me write-ups on Google Classroom, on my Facebook or you can do it on YouTube as well once I am loading um, this lesson on my YouTube channel. So, before any further delay, let us talk about what is um, IELTS writing task 2. In IELTS writing task 2, you are asked to write an essay and there are 250 words at least that you are supposed to write. Um, an essay should contain introductory paragraph, it should contain details of the issues or ideas that you gave in your introductory paragraph and it must also contain concluding paragraph or concluding section. We do not give um, title to any paragraph. We do not write as introduction to introductory paragraph or we do not write detail for a detailed paragraph. So, we start writing, uh, we write paragraphs in the form of a standard essay writing format without giving them the title as introduction. Okay? So, today in this class, we will try to analyze uh, important section of good introduction uh, and then in the next class, we will also try to write our own uh, introductory paragraph as well. There are number of ways of writing an introductory paragraph. I will give you a few tips as we go along. But it must contain a thesis statement okay? and uh, I have done a class on thesis statement. Uh, it is available on Facebook, please go visit that, but we will also talk about that and we have also spoken about this in my second class on IELTS exam, uh, IELTS preparation. So, go to YouTube and watch this also. In today's class also, I will do, uh, I will do talk about it, I will talk about um, introductory paragraph as well. So, before any delay, let us get going. Uh, meanwhile, I would ask you to share this video, like and comment as well. Right? I want maximum people to benefit from this. So, you must share this with all your friends. Okay? And also take your friends, those who are interested in joining uh, this lesson, do ask them in this. Okay, and meanwhile, I'll say hello to you also, and let me share this on my pages. I'll listen six, right? And I'll also send this to one group because they asked me to send them on their group. So let me send P S Y psychologists of sin. Okay. So, this video is also available on Psychologist of Sin. It is a wonderful group. You must also join for um, interaction on the topics related to learning various aspects of life, especially psychology. Right. So, I am on slide number 2 everybody. Those who have access to PPT fine. If not, then you must rely on whatever I am telling you. Okay. So, slide number 2, it gives example of uh, 2 paragraphs, it, there is a topic and then there are 2 paragraphs written, there is 1 liner paragraph and there are a few liner paragraphs. So, first of all, let us recognize them, what is a weak introduction and what is a strong introduction, right? A strong introduction contains um, your ideas which potentially will be developed in your detailed paragraphs, right? So, it must contain 2 or 3 um, ideas to be developed okay? and uh, you do not have to mention the ideas, you have to talk about a little at least reference of them or little detailing of them, reasons for them 
so that further uh, when we need examples of that we can look for the detailed paragraph. So, let us read the paragraph it says art museums are public places and should be funded by the government. Now, that is one liner and of course, it shows it completes one aspect of your task. Do you remember I said task achievement is important and by task achievement we mean we must do what question in the booklet is asking us to do. Okay? Whatever the question is, it is asking to analyze, we must analyze. It is asking to agree or disagree, we must agree or disagree. It is asking compare and contrast, we must compare and contrast. So, whatever the task is asking us to do, we must do that also. So, maybe this sentence completes the task of um, giving your point of view and the point of view is clearly written, but there is a problem in this paragraph and the problem is it does not give enough details, it does not give enough ideas. Now, let us look at the second paragraph on the same slide. I do not agree that art museums should be funded by private instead of public money. It is difficult to raise now he is giving reasons, reason number one. I do not agree that art museums uh, should be funded by private instead of public money and reason number one, it is difficult to raise enough private money to run a museum hall, number one reason. In addition, charging high entrance fees will keep many people away from the museum, why he does not agree because people will be away from the uh, museum. So, reason number 2, reason number 3, valuable parts a most important art is a valuable part of culture and should receive support from society as a whole through government funding. So, now there are three ideas, number one idea um, that it is difficult raising money for a museum, idea number 2, um, entrance fee will reduce the number of visitors. Idea number 3 that it is a mutual combined heritage, property, concern. So, therefore, government should take the ownership of museum. So, it is really a nice neatly written introductory paragraph, right. So, this is how you must also write a paragraph, right. But I tell you one thing. Um, I, I gave uh, IELTS exam number of times. So, I do not want you to waste your money because it is an expensive exam. So, one of my teacher online teachers suggested me to write your paragraph with the introduction as in this essay I am to write about and then I read so many other books and I read other teachers also uh, IELTS examiners as well. I listen to them this is for them is acceptable, but it is still a weak beginning. So, never start, do not start, avoid, I would not say the never, but do not write this essay is going to talk about, just talk about it straight away without giving this essay is going to talk about. Okay. So, this is what the analysis of introductory paragraph is. Now, let us go to, uh, I will give you a task now, well the task is already done. So, let us see what it says, it says thesis and I hope you all are clear about thesis by now. Thesis is what you think about the topic, what is your main idea, what is your angle, right? that is thesis statement like what do you think, um, maybe I would say conclusion like what is your final verdict about the topic. So, final verdict is art museums should be funded with public money, that is the topic, that is a thesis. It is difficult to raise private money, it is difficult to raise private money, idea number 1, idea number 2, high entrance fees keeps people away, idea number 3, art is a valuable part of culture. So, ideas number, I, 3 ideas you can have really nice detailing paragraphs talking about each of these ideas, right. Now, let us go to slide number 3, I will give you a task now. Right? Now, your task is 
um, write the topic and general ideas in the following paragraphs. Now, read the paragraph and in the comment box below, all you have to do is tell me what is the topic, that means what is your thesis and tell me what are general ideas, 1, 2, 3, there are 3 general ideas, rewrite your general ideas in the comment box, I will give you, it should take you 2 minutes, I will give you 3 minutes now. Slide number 4 and those who do not have uh, PPT, I will read this for you. Many modern couples are beginning to recognize that it is better to have a parent at home to take care of children rather than relying on a full time babysitter or preschool. I agree that it is a good idea. First, no one can care for a child as well as his own parents. Parents also have to face the fact that child care costs are very high. Finally, it is my belief that family life is better when one of the spouses devotes his or her time to maintaining the home and family. So, what you have to do is to read this paragraph and separate, tell me what is the thesis and also tell me what are general ideas okay? and then we can analyze. You can write in the comment box below. Okay, I've got these comments. Got topic: advantage of relying on full-time babysitting or a preschool. That's the topic. Um, parent care at home is yes, that's right. By topic, I mean thesis statement. That's right. Komal Sheikh, absolutely right. Parent care of home is better than perfect. Good job. And now tell me what are the details? One, two, three. How many are there? There are. Let's check. There are three ideas. Good job. Absolutely good, 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 good. That's a C system and that he got it right. Yes, good job. Now tell me the details. Parental care is better than preschool. Number one, good, Manu, you got it right. Parental care, uh, parental care, is better than a preschool. Number one, yes. Like that's that's a thesis statement. Good, good. Okay, got it. Perfect. Now tell me the details. What are the details? So, no one care better child. Okay, good. Number one, that you got it. Number two. High amount of charges paid to preschool, good, perfect. It's better than preschool, okay, good, 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 finally, perfect, okay. What about third one? Uh, one first one is about care, second is about cost and third is about family life. Perfect, good job, 
done well done well done well done clap for um, all you people you're doing brilliant job perfect good okay now let's go to um, slide number five let's do uh, the same task for this paragraph also okay I'll read the paragraph for you and those who do not have they can rely on my reading family members good family bondage grows stronger okay good good Manu got it perfect uh, let's do the same exercise for paragraph number two also these days people around the world use the internet to get news and information these both advantages and disadvantages um, this both sorry they are both advantages and disadvantages to this situation on the one hand the internet has many advantages because it provides instant access to huge amount of information that might be difficult to get otherwise on the other hand the internet has certain problems including the fact that much of the information you find there is unreliable so now tell me what is thesis statement here and what are general ideas one general ideas two it should be easy get information on the world the topic is excessive okay but what's a thesis statement okay what's the thesis like what's the point of view what's the angle what's the conclusion what's the opinion what's the attitude tell me thesis that's a topic yes Manur but now we need to recognize what is it that writer feels about the topic says about the topic Uh, pros and cons of uh, internet information absolutely so like it talks about both right it talks about both pros and cons good job thank you Shahzad Abbasi Saab love you internet is quick way to get information uh, Dharti that's the um, that's, that's the idea. So, what's the topic? What's the thesis statement? What's the thesis statement? That's what our concern is at the moment. general idea provides instant information to every uh, of every minute okay good job and we have got Fozia Chandya here also giving us thumbs up I'm um, still waiting for responses. Right. So, thesis is that there are advantages and disadvantages. Okay, that's our thesis statement. I'm on slide number. Um, 
Rola Mustafa, I am on slide number 5 and we are analyzing introductory paragraph, while much of information is unreliable, ok good that is the second idea. Um, Vasan sir, we are doing, we are analyzing introductory paragraph and I am on slide number 5, I have given them task to read the paragraph and tell me separate parts of it, tell me what is uh, thesis statement and what are details and these students have done it, I have got it to go now, good job, ok perfect, good job Zharti, well done. Right, ok, so let us go to the next, uh, Komal says excess of information is huge amount that is number 1 and number 2, number 2 is that it is not always reliable, good, simple, see that is a simple task and I think if we do enough practice we can also write our own. Uh, introductory paragraph as well. Now, let us do a little more practice. I am on slide number 6 now. In slide number 6, there are few things that you have to do. Number 1, you have to determine the task. See, I told you uh, when topics comes in front of you on the booklet in IELTS exam, your first job is to know what is it that you have to do, what is it that you have to write about the topic like there are number of things you will be asked to do, um, tell advantages and disadvantages, compare and contrast, agree, disagree, uh, there are so many other tasks as well which we will talk about also uh, in these classes, but now I, I, I want you to um, determine the task for this particular topic, write your thesis statement in the comment box and do a concept map. Now, this is a, this might take a little longer, so let us do one by one. Tell me what is it that you are asked to do in this question, in this topic, I will read it for you. Um, some people believe that the best way to learn anything is learning by doing. Others would rather learn through books and from teachers. Think of learning a language, which way do you think is a better way to learn a language? So, what is it that you have you are asked to do in this task? determine the task, what is it you are supposed to do, right. So, you give your opinion, absolutely good job and is it you will be talking about the advantages or a better way of both or just you will have to select one out of them. You are asked which way do you think is a better way, so you have to determine one way which is better for learning language. Okay? You can talk about why other is not in one paragraph and you can talk about why the second one whatever you choose is better. So, you can talk about both, but writer uh, examiner wants you to be on one side, learning is never ending process, we can learn through when we learn and practice more. Um, okay, that is task analysis done, now write a thesis statement, can you write your, ok, Mahnoor has written thesis statement, learning is never ending process, we can learn more when we practice more, ok good, so perhaps good language learning is more uh, effective 
when we learn by doing it okay and let's say salam to Hassan Salim from Jordan perhaps thesis to men. Okay, so Mahnur has written one thesis to men. I am waiting for others to write thesis to men also. Um, actions speak louder than words. With practice we learn better. Okay, good. So, you start with general actions speak louder than words. With practice we learn better. Mm, the first statement will be will be maybe not absolutely relevant, but uh, the second part yes, we learn better by doing practice, that is your thesis statement, perfect, good, got it. Some people believe that the best way to learn anything is learning by doing others would, so that is your thesis statement. Now, let us go to the next slide now, I will give one minute to you. Uh, those who are still struggling to write and then we will go to the next. Uh, to learn through books and from teachers, these are main sources of learning rather than just relying on doing without any support. So, but where is your thesis? This is like restating the topic which is ok and you have paraphrased which is really wonderful thing you do not have to write your topic exactly with the same words, you can rephrase it saying the same thing what it says in the question and then you give your own thesis statement what is it you believe, what is it you say, because asking you to believe be uh, on the one side except one um, section of the argument ok, good. Let us go to the next task now, I am on slide number 7, I am on slide number 7, <coughs> practice makes perfect, but it is always good to learn from teachers book or books, ok good perfect, Mehran says that, so you said that ok, that is your thesis statement, ok good. Now, let us uh, go and do the same um, attempt the same question for the task, this task as well. But let's let's okay. We are not moving. Uh, now I want you to write your ideas. Why you support the idea that you support? You need to give us idea number one, two, or three. Two or three ideas. Okay write 1 and 2 in the comment box and write. Write in the comment box. Take your time, think, ok, books and teachers are main sources of, I am on slide number same uh, on 6, 
I'm on slide number six. Okay, so Dharti, let me read Dharti's comment. Uh, books and teachers are main sources of starting any learning process. They give away. They give away. So they give directions. Good. That's number one. So you can write how they can give away. Do you have? Can you think of another? Because we need at least two ideas. You can have one paragraph on this. But we need two paragraphs. Give me two ideas. Okay. Um, question is, some people believe that the best way to learn anything is learning by doing. others would rather learn through books and from teachers think of learning a language which way do you think is a better way to learn a language your task is to give me two ideas about this we have written a thesis statement you have written a thesis statement and you have to write two ideas Books contain knowledge as a whole from starting to end. They provide confidence by learning. By doing, we may miss some important. Perfect. Good. So, in the beginning, you will support your idea and in the other, you will negate uh, one idea. Good job. That's a nice approach. You can do that. Good job. That's right. Perfect. Okay, good job. That's that's well done. That's well done. Now let's uh, do the second section. And uh, I'll give you f uh, five minutes for this. And write a complete introduction like you already have written junks. So, combine them and write your introduction and paste it or write it in the comment box. Okay, I will give you 5 minutes from now. We must have practice in the particular field on regular basis in which we want to succeed. Nobody can perform well in his field if he does not practice on regular basis okay so practice is important that's uh, if second second step okay 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 but i don't see um, those two ideas you are talking about practice in these two sentences okay maybe i think i would understand better if you write now a complete introductory paragraph okay so remember what you have to do in introductory paragraph you can begin with some general ideas which means you can restate the question paraphrase the question then you write your thesis along with two general ideas okay that's what you are uh, supposed to do so, can you please write introductory paragraph for this? I will give you 5 minutes from now.
knowledge is a big thing but if practice is not done knowledge cannot take us to our goal okay so one is knowledge will take to us go towards goals okay looks fine looks fine so that is one knowledge will take us to goal uh, okay good 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 looks okay practice makes perfect but it's always not so good to have a teacher it's, but it's not always good to have a teacher a book by mistakes we learn more we need to guide the teacher is better guide okay good job well done now combine them and write in the sentence now when you combine sentences when i'm asking you to combine sentences i'm actually uh, i'm asking you to bring a connectivity or connection between the sentences by writing first second these words might be used on the one hand or on the other hand you can use these words to connect these ideas on the one hand on the other hand like for dharti's paragraph on the one hand and on the other hand would be suitable connectives on the one hand uh, books to this this is on the other hand practice does this this is okay so this these words will be helpful in uh, mehran's paragraph first and second first this second this can be nice connectives and let's see what mahnur says learning is an active process very nice sentence there are there are no age limit when we learn uh, let's see if it's relevant there are varieties of learners okay it's second and third sentence become same some learn by doing practicing and some just apply the things in their lives with their stay so if i think um, i'll delete your second and third sentence it will maintain better sense if i read learning is an active process some learn by doing practice so see that's more connection so this about age and varieties i think it's not relevant to what you are trying to say okay so otherwise it's good well written and let's see what meer saab says some people are believing that books will be enough so in a source of learning and others think feel is necessary by for adopting any skills that's first sentence which is a general statement rephrasing question nice approach good except one thing we don't say are believing we say people believe okay we don't put believe in continuous form in this kind of sentence okay we don't say i'm believing we say i believe they believe it's the verb of a state that expresses a state of something a state of mind in this case okay you have got one more minute to write a paragraph okay good um the topic was on slide number 6 some people believe that the best way to learn anything is language learning others would rather learn through books and from teachers think of learning a language which way do you think is a better way to learn a language okay so now thank you very much everybody a few students did really a good job 
by writing it of course if we do enough practice we get the sense of things properly i'll give you a homework and homework is on slide number 7 you have to determine the task and uh, okay good job Jhati has written this paragraph i'll read it and i'll get back to you so let's uh, stop it for a while i want you to listen to me whatever you, whatever stage you are writing you can continue after I finish, you can write these comments, I will read it later. So now, uh, please take the task for your homework. On slide number 7, there is a topic, you have to determine the task, like write task and then what is the task you have to do? Write your thesis statement separately and do a concept map, like 1, 2, 3 uh, ideas, then write complete paragraph. Okay? understand that will you do that good perfect and then you have to um, we will talk about in the next class but if you can all you have to do is for the slide number eight and nine you have to separate topic sentence from supporting details okay if you can manage fine enough if not then we'll do it again on monday our next class is on monday at 11 pm those who are watching on youtube thank you very much for watching in the description i have given my um, link for classroom.google.com and the code which i'll tell you again now you can access ppt from there 2BB74RW. Thank you very much everybody for being with me. Now some students want me to do um, speaking practice with them. Um, I will stop this video, I will I'll wait for a few minutes if anybody wants to come for a video uh, to practice speaking uh, for IELTS then kindly let me know and then I can straight away accept that ok. So, we will talk before that we will do a bit preparation. So, text me if you are ready I will come back it I will come back to uh, the live video. So, I will stop it from here I will come back if anybody is willing just text me on Facebook that you are willing to join for speaking practice I can come back and we do speaking practice after 5 minutes. Thank you very much everybody, take good care of yourself, it is always, always, always nice to teach and talk to you, read your comments and being interactive. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye.